Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat, and I skin retouching tray. And this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily understand frequency separation from the very start to the very end in the shortest time possible. And if at all you feel like this video is what you have always looked for, I request that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. And this is the image that we are going to be working on. And remember, frequency separation is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide. The image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer so at, at the end of it all when you combine both the divided layers are going to make one complete complete image which is this very image so without further ado let's get started so the very first thing that we want to work on when it comes to retouching this very image is cleaning up and removing the blemishes from this model's face so you're just going to come to the background and simply press ctrl command j on the keyboard to create a copy from uh, the background layer and it is on this layer that we're going to be removing the blemishes so what i'm going to be using for removing blemishes i'm going to be using the patch tool and the spot healing brush tool and i'm going i'm going to be showing you how these two work so i'm just going to select the patch tool and make sure it is in this mode right here the new selection mode and what i'm going to i'm just going to zoom in and i show you how it basically works when you're trying to remove blemishes so how it works you simply left click and draw over the blemish and drag it to a clean area that is next or near the blemish so that is how the patch tool is going to work as we're trying to clean up or remove blemishes from this very image the next that we're going to be using the spot healing brush tool and how basically it works you simply select it and make sure content aware is selected and sample areas is selected so after that we are going to make sure the hardness for this very tool going to be using hardness of around 46 percent so how it basically works you simply click over the blemish that you want to remove and make sure the spot healing brush tool is slightly bigger than the blemish that you want to remove so how to do this you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to increase or decrease on the size of your spot healing brush tool depending on the blemishes that you want to eliminate so i'm just going to be doing this and clean up the blemishes from this very image and i'll see you after we are done cleaning up or removing the blemishes from this very image so hello welcome back and now we're done removing the blemishes or cleaning up and this is the before and after for just the removal of the blemishes so we want to create a second layer that is involved in frequency separation remember we create two layers one containing the textures and one containing the colors so i'm just going to create a layer on top of this by pressing ctrl j or command j on the keyboard and i'm going to name this into low and i'm going to name this into high the low frequency layer usually contains the colors and the high frequency layer contains the textures so i'm just going to select the low frequency layer now hide the high frequency layer then come to filter and come to blend come to gaussian blur so this point is when you determine the amount of skin textures that you want to remain with in your final image so the textures we eliminate from this step are the ones that we're going to be remaining with in our final retouched image so start taking up the radius while looking at both the preview and also the real image so you have to stop at that point when these textures are just starting to disappear from this very image so i'm just going to take that up and they start disappearing at around four pixels and you don't have to cram this because your images may be having varying levels of details or sharpness or even textures in them so i'm just going to select or click on ok then come and select the high frequency layer and simply turn it on so come to image and come to apply image so in the high frequency layer, we only want to remain with the textures like i said so just come and select the low frequency layer because 
we want to extract the textures from the low frequency layer and for an 8-bit image you can say i have 8 right here it means the image is 8-bit the blend mode has to be subtract opacity at 100 percent the scale is 2 and offset 128 make sure preserve transparency and mask cannot checked and now invert is also not turned on but if at all you are having 16 meaning your image is going to be a 16-bit image simply change the blend mode to add opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot checked the scale has to be 2 and offset 0 and make sure this time around you turn on the invert option so for this case i'm working with an 8-bit image I'm just, I'm just going to be using a blend mode of subtract the scale is 2 offset 108 i'm just going to hit ok so i want to get back the image where it was meant to be before so change the blend mode from normal and i'm just going to change it to linear light and you get back the image where it was meant to be so i'm going to put this two in a group by pressing ctrl command and clicking on both and pressing ctrl or command g on the keyboard group them and i'm going to name this into frequency separation so after doing that i'm just going to open up the frequency separation group and select the low frequency layer after doing that come under the brushes and simply right click and get the mixer brush tool and you can as well find the mixer brush tool for other versions of photoshop right here and these are settings for a mixer brush tool that i would recommend there are varying settings that photographers on youtube really recommend but this is what i've always found working best for me so i prefer the settings the hardness to be at zero percent and i prefer a clean brush right here and i select the option which says clean the brush after each and every stroke and the weight is going to be nine the load of 75 the mix at 19 the flow of 100 percent make sure sample oils is not checked because when you take this option and you start painting it means that the brush is going to be coloring textures and painting them in the color layer which we don't want so make sure sample oils is not turned on and in order to retouch better so turn off the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer so with the brush tool selected you can as well if at all your brush is showing a plus icon press the capsule key on the keyboard and in order to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool you can as well use the open and close brackets on the keyboard so you have to retouch at a distance if at all you want to get better images or better results from the retouching process then also while you're retouching make sure you mix colors that are looking alike and how to use the mixer brush tool you move it in the direction of an area or how that area is shaped so we mix colors that are looking alike and when where they try transitioning between the highlight to maybe the midtones or the highlights to the shadows mix that border so that you can create a nice and even transition between those areas so how to use it left click and hold down and simply move the mixer brush tool in that direction so you have to keep on releasing and mixing a different area so you left click and hold down and mix different areas if at all you want to perfect your image remember we are doing skin retouching and every area that has skin should be worked on if at all you want the best out of your retouching so you have to be patient as a retoucher and you retouch and the good thing about the technique for turning off the texture layer you'll be seeing the skin tone color inconsistencies as you're working on the image and you see the results in real time and the more plastic it is getting the better the image is going to be at the end of it all so you can turn on the texture layer to see on your progress that's the before after before after you can see that we have still retained the textures in the image so i'm just going to retouch this other area and you can see how i'm moving my strokes i'm moving them the way an area is shaped to keep or retain the original skin textures and also the original shape of the face so I, I don't want to change completely how the model's facial structure is. So I have to move my brush in that kind of direction. So reduce on the size and work on a smaller area. You can see the strokes of a brush for a nose are moving from an up-down kind of direction or movement. And I'm mixing colors that are looking alike together so that I don't distort or change the original shape all the way the light was falling on the model's face so just come and keep on working on those areas that have skin so let me just forward this and i'm going to be seeing you later on in this tutorial
hello welcome back and you can see we are now done using the mixer brush to retouch this very image so you can see a quick before and after and the results are really pretty amazing and you can start to have still retained original textures within the image so next thing that you want to do when it comes to retouching you can as well incorporate a second technique that is going to refine the image so just come and get the lasso tool and make sure it is in new selection mode and the feathering is 22 pixels because you want a very nice and smooth edges from the selection on the skin so 22 pixels is fine and alias is selected and now come and follow and make you select a shape on the skin so you have to keep away from the edges the eyebrows or even the eyes of your model only make sure i select the skin and you follow the shape of that area so just come to filter and come back to blur and come to gush and blur with the low frequency that's still selected just come and take up the radius up to the point when you're getting the base out of the skin so at around 12 of that is fine you can as well multiply the radius that you had for your initial frequency separation multiply it by three and apply that value so remember we had four so four by three is 12 so you can just type that in and that is going to make you have the best results then for whichever radius that you may have used for your image just multiply that by three and type in that value and simply hit ok for this step so to deselect click out from the selection and that is going to deselect and come and apply it on other areas of the image just like that right click and apply the gush and blur so this is going to be perfecting the image to look better for areas we may have missed out when we are using our mixer brush to retouch uh, this very image so right click and come to gush and blur and come and also select the chin right click and come to gush and blur and when it is too much right click on the selection and come to fade gush and blur and you can take down the opacity of that effect so come to the nose area so when it comes to the nose area you have to apply it separately so apply it on the shadow areas just like that right click and come to gush and blur also come this other side of the nose apply that and on the highlight i'd recommend that you only use the mixer brush tool for the highlight area of the nose so right now we are done retouching this very image and you can see the results from the retouching so this is the before after before after before and after so this is how to retouch the images using frequency separation and if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.